Happy New Year, Millionistas. I'm Stephanie Nicholas, your host for Success in Stilettos. I am so excited about what is what 2016 is going to bring for us. I'm going to check in with the chat box to see if there's uh, anybody that's live here today that wants any questions answered. But today we're going to talk about the fact that life and business are so much more than just motivational quotes. Oh, let me uh, let me turn off my email inbox from you. So you don't have to hear it dinging on our call here. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Jim said the video isn't working, but that's because we weren't live. It should be all good to rock and roll now. Um, I'm here and I do have the chat box open. So if anybody here is live with me, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, um, but today I really want to talk about the fact that life and business are so much more than motivational quotes, right? And it's really about, and this is the perfect time to have this conversation. Well, first of all, let me, before I get ahead of myself, let me introduce myself in case this is your first time catching Success in Stilettos, tell you a little bit about myself, uh, my business, and what this show is all about. Um, and that is, my name is Stephanie Nicklich again. You probably may know me as the Millionista Mentor but I'm also a mindset master and sales funnel profit producer. So I help people create passive revenue streams within their business so that they can have their business on a set it and forget it type stream so that they, like my goal in 2016, can sit on the beach with me and drink my ties while watching their children build sandcastles. Um, and I do believe that that's the best way to create a sustainable business a setup for success and that is to create a business that runs without you having to be present I speak to many 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 women from around the world on a regular basis and it seems that their income is always limited so what I help women uncover and discover is the path to real financial freedom through creating products that run while you're sleeping, while you're taking a vacation, while you're spending quality family time so that you can live the life that you desire and deserve without truly giving anything up. Um, and my business is, you can check me out at stephanienicolich.com um, or stylersuccess.com, or you can join our Facebook group, Female Entrepreneurs Collaborate. It's an awesome group. We have about 9,000 women worldwide there. And I like to keep it real. So why I started um, Success in Stilettos is because I wanted to really uh, bring back the veil on what it really takes to accomplish success and how I've been able to do so in my business. So a little bit of background information if you've never hung out with me before. Um, this is my second company. My first company was not so successful. In fact, it was pretty darn close to being a big fat failure and I had accumulated a hell of a lot of debt. Um, and I'm one month away from being debt free. This is my last debt payment, so it's like super exciting. Um, so in my previous business, I had accumulated well over $100,000 in debt um, because I was a big fan of the DIY. I bought every product, every program, every group coaching, marketing expert, Facebook ad expert, um, design expert, how to learn how to use XYZ software. I bought it all. I bought it all. And I needed none of it. What I really needed to work on first was my mindset. And when I started to work on myself personally and professionally, my business started to shift, started to change. I started to align with my greatest purpose. And then I started to learn how to make money, which is what I teach people how to do, which is a pretty fun job to have. And so why I want to talk about the fact that life is more than a motivational quote is because I see a lot of fluff online. I'm predominantly, my business is probably 99.9% .9 run online. Um, I am adding some really cool live luxury intensives where you can meet me in person in 2016, but majority of my relationships and my clients come from online. Um, and so online, there's a lot of noise going on. It's a huge world. There's a ton of people that are extremely successful and then a lot of them that aren't so successful as well. And something I see this on a daily basis. And so the people that are really successful are the ones that are really willing to take life and business by the horns and take action. You know, the ones that are really successful are the ones that have truly spent the money investing it back into their business. So yes, my business has become extremely successful, but the point is that 90% plus, maybe even 95% of my revenue in 2015 was invested back into my business. And sometimes I made some really big investments that were very scary. Not, it's scary, just as scary for me as it is for you, even when I was starting out. 
I invested in a high dollar mentor that had the mindset and the money game that I wanted. And that was that got me to the next level that opened my eyes about creating a community for women online which then led me to becoming a mentor because I had first overcome myself. But you see, if I hadn't made those initial investments and committed to taking action, because there's a difference between just investing money and then taking massive action. And you have to do both in order to get the results that you want. And so I see a lot of people online that maybe are, you know, they're putting it out there. There's this element of manifestation. And don't get me wrong, I am so, I, I'm such a big fan of the mindset work. In fact, I'm just revealing a new product called Mindset Mastery, which is absolutely incredible, and it's a great time to get down and dirty with those mindset um, hacks in order to really reach those financial goals in 2016. But it, it's more than that. It's more than just doing the work on the mindset. You really, really, really have to be willing to take action. You know, I, recently I, I posted something in uh, – probably in just several groups online about, um, you know, preach, or what, what did it say? Po preach what you post, right? So outside of whatever you're posting on social media, make sure you're operating and acting as that person on a regular basis because there has to be that sense of alignment. People on the other end see bullshit. They can sense it. They can smell it from a mile away. And if you're not operating in, in alignment with what you're – posting on social media, then your business will not become successful, you know? So it's so much deeper than what you're putting out to the world. It's like, what is going on behind the scenes? How are you acting if a bill comes into the mail into your business that wasn't expected? Are you freaking out? How do you respond to others, um, to a level of service, to other services you buy? How do you respect money? How do you treat people in business? And it's, that's why I wanted to talk about the fact that it's so much more than just a motivational quote, right? I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a good start, but you, you have to be operating in that space, not just talking about being that person. And then behind the scenes in your personal and professional life, the one that no one actually sees online, you're operating in a very different space. Because the universe attracts more of what you put out there. So back to that manifestation thing, right? Like that's that's where it really comes to life. If you're like, man, you know, I'm looking back at 2015 and I really didn't make the money that I desired to make. I want to know why. You know, are you stuck in that space that you haven't been willing to invest in your business because you thought, oh, I haven't made enough money to do so? Because the truth is, it's like this. It's like, what comes first, the chicken or the egg, right? Does the success and the money come first or does the investment come first? And quite honestly, I have to tell you that if you don't invest in your business, if you aren't willing to spend money, not spend it, invest it wisely in growth, personal and professional growth, then your business is going to continue to suffer moving into 2016. You know, it's like the definition of insanity. What is insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. Um, I want 2016 to look different for you. I want it to be the best year in your business as well as mine, right? And that's, that's absolutely possible if you decide to do things differently. So, you know, this show is we keep it short and sweet. I like to give you some small tips, some personal experience, so what, what you can expect from me moving forward. Answer any questions live. Actually, I'm going to check in to see if there's anything that anybody wants to talk about. Let me refresh this real quickly before we wrap up our time together. Oh, okay. Hold on one second. I'm coming back to you. So yeah, I want you, I want to challenge you to really take a look at what your business looked like in the previous year or previous years. And maybe you did make strides and that's incredible and that's amazing, but maybe you didn't get to exactly where you wanted to go. And I want you to look at that and see why was that happening. Was there something that maybe you needed in your business that you were too afraid to invest some money in because maybe the money was uh, not coming in as you expected it to, so you decided to do it yourself. By doing it yourself, you didn't get the results that you needed. Um, was it marketing? Was it hiring somebody else on your team to bring those dreams to life? Was it hiring a coach or a mentor? You know, what was it that could have changed the game for you in 2015 that that wasn't implemented properly, that wasn't acted upon? 
and take this opportunity. We have a new year, we have a fresh start, and your business can genuinely look as if whatever you want it to in 2016, right? I mean, everybody has the same opportunity when we wake up in the morning. You have the opportunity to make a decision, one decision that can change the business, your life and your business game forever. And I want you to think about when I, when I leave here today, what is, what is that one thing that you're going to do differently this year that's going to move the needle on accomplishing the success that you really are after? You know, if you're really eager to bypass that six-figure mark, what do you have to do differently in order to get there? And, it, and if it is high, higher, that high-dollar coach or mentor that you've been seeking, then go out there and do it. and Do it unapologetically. And don't worry, because you could get one client as a result of working with that coach or mentor that could put you to moving into the direction of accomplishing that six-figure goal for the year. So you have to be willing to look at money differently this year. And that's one of the biggest things that I see in this industry, because I talk with a lot of women, is their fear of money, fear of not having enough, um, fear of spending it wisely, investing it wisely in their business now. I said spending, but spending and investing are two very, very, very different things. You know, you go out and buy a brand new Gucci handbag. That's spending money. That's not going to create a return on investment. Money, maybe you'll feel a little bit better about yourself, but is it necessary in building a business? Or, you know, investing in a piece of software or investing in a, in a new employee or a virtual assistant to help you so you're not spending hours and hours and hours on social media every day. What is it? That's an investment in your business. Big, big, big difference. So I want to know, you know, reach out to me, join my Facebook group, Female Entrepreneurs Collaborate. Send me a message in the chat box. I do chat box. I do get all the messages here. If there's something specifically that you want me to talk about on one of my upcoming shows, I do I am here every Monday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm here to help you bust through those limiting beliefs. And I'm here to help you create the business that you actually dream of. It's not fluff. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's working through what it actually takes to create a successful business. And if that is something that you desire, then connect with me personally. And let's schedule a time to chat. I, I'm, I'm not scary, I promise. But I will give you the real deal on what's required in order to move the needle on your success. And, and I want you to be able to count on me for that. So um, if there's no questions, I will see you here on Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, again, reach out to me, connect with me personally, stephanienicolich.com. Connect with me on Facebook, Female Entrepreneurs Collaborate. And if mindset is one of the things that you're currently struggling with, then check out my newest product, Mindset Mastery, stephanienicolich.com forward slash mindset dash mastery. I am wishing you the best year yet. Let's absolutely kick it off with nothing but amazing positive energy. Life is more than inspirational quotes, right? And an action plan to achieve our wildest success. I'll see you next time. Bye, millionistas.